Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am actually really excited to do. So I have been seeing this video go around. I'm pretty sure it's a tag video. This is not that tag video. I don't even think I was tagged in that video, but it is the five luxury handbags I refuse to buy no matter the hype. And it gave me the motivation when I saw those titles. I haven't actually watched any of those videos um, yet, but it gave me the motivation to do this. And I thought this would be a really fun like video idea. So I am doing five luxury handbags that I like, I genuinely love, but I will not buy for one reason or another. So like I said, I just thought this would be something fun and a little bit differently different. Um, I want to do a wish list video and I thought this was a way to introduce five things kind of on my wish list that well, they really are on my wish list, but for one reason or another, I will not buy them, even though I want to buy them. So I love them, but I won't buy them. So let's check them out. So the first thing I want to mention, the number one item that I truly am actually obsessed with, but I refuse to buy it, even though I want it really, really badly, is the Louis Vuitton Eye Trunk iPhone case. This case retails for $1,320 plus tax, mind you, so basically a $1,500 phone case. I just can't justify that price for a phone case that I drop my phone often, not on purpose, obviously. I just can't justify it. I change out my phone just every once in a while and you just never know if you have a phone issue. You might have to upgrade your phone really quickly or just something happens. It gets wet, it breaks, whatever it is. I love this phone case. I love it. I love it. And if I were ever to receive it as a gift, I would totally rock it. I just can't spend my money on it as much as I really, really want it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. If you have this case, I'm totally jelly because it's amazing and it's stunning and it would complete my like SLG, like monogram SLG collection. You guys know how obsessed I am with my SLGs and monogram, but I just can't justify it. I just can't. But I really love it. So the next item is a handbag. So item number two is this small lock rock stud handbag from Valentino. And you guys know that I am obsessed with my rock stud. You can see them back here in the back. I love me some rock stud. And I actually do really want to get a rock stud handbag someday. But this retails for $2,000. $245, again, plus tax. So you're talking a $2,500 handbag, which, yes, I've spent that much money on a handbag, but I don't know what it is about this particular one. I just can't bring myself to buy it. Will I eventually buy it one day? Yes, but I will probably not buy it brand new. I plan on adding this to my wish list for pre-loved handbags. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I just feel like this handbag probably doesn't hold its value as well. And I just don't, it's just such a small handbag because I want the small size, keep in mind. They have the medium size, which is beautiful. They even have like the mini or the micro. I'm not exactly sure what, what they call it, but I think the small is perfection. I love this bag. I want it in the Poudre color, the regular like blush nude color. I think it's stunning. I think it's beautiful. I think I'd get a lot of use out of it, but I just can't justify that high of a price tag for just such a small handbag. For some reason, I don't know why, I just can't for that particular one, but I do love it and I do see adding it to my collection one day, but it will for sure be from the pre-loved market. Number three on my list is this handbag by Dior guys and I am obsessed. It is the Dior Oblique saddle bag and it retails for $2,950 again plus tax. So you're talking a $3,200 handbag and for me as much as I love this bag I think it's so beautiful. It actually used to be like it's basically a re remake, a revamp of a older style from several years back. Um, I just feel like it is a very, very trendy, trendy handbag. As much as I love it, I think it's beautiful. I think it's classic Dior in in a sense. Um, but I, I just, I just can't spend 
$3,000 on a bag that I know was so in style for a couple of years, left for several years, and has come back. I have a feeling it's going to do the same thing. It's going to be in style for a little while, and then it's going to slowly fade away. And then maybe you'll be able to pull it out in 10 years or so whenever it comes back in style. But again, I when I think of a hand when I think of adding a handbag, especially in the luxury realm, um, especially in that price range, I definitely want to feel like I can guarantee at least some sense of longevity to to a degree. I mean, not every handbag that I've ever made a purchase, I've kept and I've has worked out for me for one reason or another, um, but that's not ever the plan going in it, right? Like I don't just have $3,000 laying around that I can just go buy any handbag that I want. And as much as I love this bag, as much as I've seen some people rock this bag and kill it, I just can't justify the price for such a trendy handbag, but I do love it. Number four on my list is you guys have actually seen me go shopping for this bag. I went up to the mall to buy this bag and it just didn't work out and I am talking about the classic Chanel jumbo bag. So this currently retails for I believe $6,200 again plus tax which is crazy guys. That is so insane but if the bag worked for me I, I would buy it. I would because I feel like it's one of those bags that I could literally have for the rest of my life and then pass it down to somebody that I love or you know whatever it is I could donate it whatever it is I could pass it down to somebody and I tried this bag on and I was just disappointed with the way that it looked on my particular body frame it was very overwhelming even on the shoulder it felt overwhelming it just felt just overwhelming in general and I was just really disappointed. I love the bag. Um, and I could see maybe if I got a killer, killer deal on one pre-loved or an older one, buying it just because it's such a classic bag if I got an amazing deal. But at that price, I really need to love everything about the bag. So this one is going to be a no for me because it just didn't work out for me. The size-wise, the proportions, I just didn't feel comfortable with it. I just didn't really like it on my particular body frame. Um, it was very long on me, just on the long strap. Crossbody, like it just wasn't even an option crossbody or on the shoulder, like the long strap. It was only an option for me with doubled up. And even then, I felt like it looked really bulky on me. So... I, I just, as much as I really, really wanted this bag, I was certain this bag would be added to my collection one day. Um, I can't say that anymore. I, I'm just really bummed. If you watched that video, you know, I think it was Come Luxury Shopping With Me. It's on my channel. I'll link it up at the top here. Um, you can see the way that it looked on me. I really wanted to buy the beige color, which I thought was beautiful and stunning, and it just didn't work out. So as much as I love this bag, as much as I think it's a classic, and I think that if it works out for you, I'm jelly that you're able to add this to your collection and love it and use it. And I just don't think I would get as much use out of it. There's that's why there's no way I'd ever buy that brand new. Maybe pre-loved, like I said, if I got an amazing, an amazing deal. It'd probably have to be a pretty old one for me to justify, you know, how much I wore it. Uh, but I love the bag. It's classic, it's amazing, it's stunning, it's beautiful. It just didn't work out for me. Therefore, I won't be adding this to my collection anytime soon. Number five on my list is the Hermes Birkin. I love this bag, guys. I do. I love this bag. I think I kind of know what I would get if it was a possibility for me. I would get the size 30 in the gold on gold because I just love that color. I think it's such a classic color. I think the size is great. I think it's a good everyday size. Um, I love this bag. I love the silhouette. That is actually why I purchased some of the bags that I have in my current collection, like the Sac de Jour, um, things like that. I, I just love this bag, but, and I'll be honest, I don't even know what the retail price is. It's 10000 ish dollars. I didn't even look it up because honestly, there's just no point. And I just don't think I could do that price tag. I feel like I would be scared to carry this bag literally outside of my house. I would probably scared to ha be scared to have it inside of my house. I just feel like right now where I'm at in my life, maybe in five years, you know, you may be, if I still have a YouTube channel in five years and maybe I've purchased a Birkin, my, my thoughts have po possibly changed. But where I'm at right now, I just really love having the collection that I have 
I'm, I've really stepped outside of my box and even a little bit outside of my comfort zone in a couple of the bags I've purchased as far, far as their price tag. And I just think that that is such a big next step jump for me that I don't think that I could do it. I definitely see other people purchasing them and loving them and using them and I love to enjoy watching their videos and their pictures, looking at their pictures and that is amazing. I just don't think I'd be able to truly enjoy the bag right now and I'm okay with that. I love looking at the bag, I love enjoying the beauty of the bag, um, but I love my current collection and I just can't see spending like that much on just one item. So who knows, maybe one day if I ever wanted to downsize my collection and instead of having the, the size that I have, maybe I wanted to, you know, bring it down to half and maybe I could add one or two of those to my collection, maybe. That may change, but where I'm at right now, I just can't justify the price, even though I love it, even though I want it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be really fun to kind of talk about a few like wish list items and why they may or may not ever become a reality. Let me know down below, is there something that you really, really want but you just can't justify the price or justify purchasing it for whatever reason? Let me know down below, I'd love to know. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Amanda. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon, bye-bye. To keep it nice and clean Not freak out and cause a scene